Hello there, Bingo Ragers. I uh, hope everyone had a great Christmas. Well, uh, you give somebody a microphone, then and they'll just fucking like start dropping science on your shit or trying to drop science. And this dude was giving us all a mini film school education and whatnot. And Harvey's in the back, and he had told us, like, you can't talk during this, you'll screw the data up and shit like that. So that's why when I yelled, he kicked us. But then he's sitting there listening to the dude, and you hear him going, oh. Like to himself, and we're sitting right next to him. And I look up at him, and he's watching because uh, they're ahead of us. And he goes, "Ugh, ugh, that's just retarded." <laughs> Out loud, man, like to the point where I had to look up. And the I wrote dude, the whole story of the bucket list. And ultimately, the story is these guys each have their own list of things that they want to do with the short time they have left. But the one thing that's not on either of their list that they're both missing is a true friend. Rob and I weren't sure, we had a list of the usual suspects and, and a bunch of names, but we're never really sure who it would be. And Morgan said, Jack Nicholson and I have talked about always wanting to work together. And if I had a bucket list, working with Jack Nicholson would be on that list. And what are you going to say to that? So sent the script to Jack, and a week later, he called, yeah, I'll do it. And, uh, you know. God, I would make an argument for Casablanca, and It's a Wonderful Life, and Total Indemnity. You know, these are the best of what we get. These are the best of what we do. Um, perfection, I think it probably should remain the mirage that you keep chasing. Because if you ever achieve it, you might as well just give up. <laughs> obscene odes on the windows of the skull, who cowered in unshaven rooms in underwear, fire and paint hotels, or drank turpentine in Paradise Alley, death, or purgatoried their torsos night after night with dreams, with drugs, with waking nightmares, alcohol and cock and endless balls. I'm going to say, all right, um, the Mormons will tell you the same. You may think it's a bit cracked to think that Joseph Smith found another Bible buried in upstate New York, but you should see our missionaries in action. I'm not impressed. It's not good enough. Like, what the fuck? I'm going to be like, okay, we're from the fucking nerdy, like, faggy, collectible comic fucking store. I can't believe he's arguing that you did too good of a job. This is the morning of December 28th, and the interdimensional mallard has undergone some more changes. And this piece was on display at Spirit Fire Park during our August uh, summer 2010 event. The Spirit Fire is lit again. Kind of three characters sharing this one uh, composition piece right here, a subcomposition. This human figure with kind of three different uh, states of awareness, states of uh, being. So in the last couple of days, this character has undergone quite a bit of uh, evolution and uh, has gone from two characters to three characters. And this face here in profile is having a vision off screen, you know, off the painting's field, off of our own field of awareness you the viewer. This character here is the interdimensional mallard. It's made of stars, planets, nebula, the uh, the matter of the universe and the, uh, the spidery filaments that hold it together. chamber and in the vision of the dreamer. You may notice there's another character up here and it's a worm and it's there to remind us of our mortality.